everybody welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm just showing you a really quick simple design so my client came back for infills and um, so i've already filed down the nails and removed all the bulk and now i am going in with glam and glitz michelle this color i found really really hard to work with i felt like it didn't really cover well like it didn't have much coverage at all so i did have to keep building it up um, but once I'd got the coverage I wanted, it is a really pretty colour. So I'm just going ahead and applying that to all of the nails. Now this client came back after eight weeks. Yes, eight weeks. So she did lose a few nails and um, there was some water that had gotten under on this nail. But we were remove the nail and we have sorted it out so it's fine so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this to all of the nails and then i will jump back in in a minute Once all those nails are set, here I'm just going in with some Glitter Bells Clear Acrylic. Um, this is a new system that I'm trying out and so far I really like it. So I'm just going to apply that to all of the nails. Then once that's set, I'll go in with my hand file and refine the shape and make them nice and smooth. And then we are going to add some 3D flowers. So once I'd filed all the nails, I then cleansed over them with some acetone and top coated it using my CJP top gloss. Once I'd applied that, I got my client's pop a hand in my LED lamp for one minute. And then you will see me doing the 3D flowers in a minute. So I'm gonna leave you there and I'll jump back in in a second. Now that the top coat's cured, I'm going in with some CJP Snow White and also Glam and Glitz Karen. And the brush that I'm using is the Crystal Nails 3D Nail Art Brush. And to get the two color tone, all I do is pick up a small bead of white acrylic and then um, just dab that into my Glam and Glitz Karen. Place that on the nail and then I'm just pressing that out to form the shapes that I want. And then for the center part of it, I just pick up a bead, place it where I want it, and then use the tip of my brush to sort of stab it and swirl it about a little bit. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And then I will be also adding some leaves. So I'm going to leave you there, guys, and just let you carry on watching it. Um, once they were set, I did apply some CJP Flora Blast Cuticle Oil. But as I said, I'm going to leave you there and let you watch the end of this to excuse Louis Trash in my living room. Um, I hope you liked it, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to click subscribe. And I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye!